this contact cement, you just kind of pour it. You can squeegee it or do whatever. It's kind of hard to pour when this amount. But you just get good coverage on your whole surface. And then as it starts getting a little tacky, my friend Noah says he watches for the shine to slightly go away. You paint both surfaces. So this is the back of the Formica. And then we're going to go ahead and coat this with the contact cement as well, the surface we're adhering it. And then once both sides are kind of dull looking, you uh, put them together and roll them so you can get the pressure on and then add weight to it, whatever. We're just going to pile stuff up on it. Yeah, let's try that. I got my roller, it worked. I'll put tape around the edges, hoping it won't drip down too much. I'm gonna kind of be gentle towards those edges. You wanna make sure you have good you know, adhesion on the edges, but I also don't want it to drip down on my Formica. stuff smells terrible, so you want to do it in a well-ventilated space. Camille's studio has lots of windows missing, so it's nice and ventilated in here. Come down this side. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the Formica on. doing a bigger piece, it's good to put sticks down, or if you don't have help, I guess we got bigger which way it goes. Now I'm going to go ahead and roll it down, but uh, if you don't have help, you can lay sticks down and slowly get it. What's that noise? Sound like a mouse? Just pushing the, the uh, contact cement all together, getting it to lay down nicely.
there you have it. Pretty stoked. That's the finished side that'll face the set tee. Now we gotta do a small bit on the other side. Above this line, I come, come down a bit. This is where the galley top sits, and we'll have a little bit of teak, but I'm gonna laminate down to here and then just paint this for weather seal. But uh, we just gotta do this strip, and then we'll deal with the uh, inside, and uh, then the enclosure's done, which is great. So I'm getting ready to laminate the last section of the outside of the uh, stove enclosure. And I learned from last night that you need to tape up the holes on these T-nuts from this side so that none of the contact cement gets in. Otherwise, you have to dig it out to get your, uh, your bolt in there. So I'm going ahead and putting tape on that and uh, keep that chore from happening later. I'm going to do this piece. It's going to go there. The galley comes to this line. So I don't have to do all this. I'm just going to do down for this as far as this goes and then paint the rest. Um, and uh, I'll be putting like a plywood kind of kick out that'll bring it out the, the same distance as the teak trim, but we'll talk about that later when we get to it. Uh, so now it's time to get to um, laminate and uh, get in contact cement on both of these and uh, getting it adhered down. So today I plan on finishing up all of the, the uh, laminating for the stove enclosure. Um, got this, uh, the aft side finally uh, done, so I trimmed it up when I got here. And today we're going to be cutting the uh, inside laminate um, for the enclosure. We did cut one last time we were here, but it was like, I had one little nick here that I'm not happy with. It has to be precise the way it's going to go in here. I can't put any trim down because of this curve, and I just don't want anything like that. Even though you, most people won't ever see it, it would bother me. So I'm going to go ahead and I went and got another full sheet of Formica. I need it anyway for the rest of the galley and different projects on the boat. So this is basically what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, got my new piece set up and uh, ready to go ahead and get the measurements based, based on this. This is like really, really good fit. So, um, so uh, let's go ahead and get this finished. There's our test fit. Um, fits pretty good. So now comes the fun part of trying to contact cement this piece and everything else and then getting it down in there without making a total mess. Um, that'll be a little tricky, but I'm going to go ahead and coat both sides like you do and uh, have this hang over a bit, clamp it here, and then once I get it in place, I'll get it down to all its surfaces and then we'll clamp it at the top so that it, it keeps it pinched in place and then we'll add some weights where we can. Obviously we can't weight both sides because it's, uh, you know, we're, we're doing this transition so it's gonna be a little different than uh, normal laminating. But um, 
Time to get this thing uh, glued in. Okay, so we're about to set in the bottom and the transition in the back of the Formica. Um, it's going to be a little tricky. We have contact paper on both sides to try to keep any of the goop, uh, contact cement from getting on that. It'll be easier to peel this off. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing laid in place and clamp down so uh, this project will be done. Well, the Formica part. slowly push down okay so there it is it was a little tricky in one spot I had to pull it out and file it down but it came out pretty good and uh, she'll get the job done now it's time to just let it cure. I'm going to go ahead and add some weight to the bottom at least so that that holds down the best it can. And uh, I'm going to do a little strip on the back so that it's all happening at the same time. Um, other than that, uh, the only thing to do after this is add the teak trim and install it in the boat. So happy to see this thing coming to an end.